A high-ranking military general sounding the alarm, predicting the U.S. could find itself at war with China within two years. Air Force General Mike Minahan sent a memo saying, I hope I'm wrong. My gut tells me we will fight in 2025. She secured his third term and set his war council in October of 2022. Taiwan's presidential elections are in 2024 and will offer Xi a reason. United States presidential elections are in 2024 and will offer Xi a distracted America. Xi's team, reason and opportunity are all aligned for 2025, end quote. Let's bring in retired U.S. Army Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Davis live from Virginia for us. You know, we see this headline and immediately some are saying this is not surprising. Uh, but should Americans prepare for this? I mean, sh how do we prepare uh, for war? Would this be on U.S. soil? Would this be U.S. involving itself with the China-Taiwan conflict? What should we expect? Well, that's, that's part of the problem I think that we have is that there's not any clarity on those very crucial questions that you're asking. Uh, because, I mean, this is not like a treaty partner. This is not like, you know, we have with South Korea or Japan or, or Australia where we have a mutual defense treaty. This is a, a country that has a historic enmity and issues with China going all the way back to 1949. It's never been anything different than what it is today. Uh, and certainly the United States is, is joining, you know, virtually the entire uh, civilized world and saying that we don't want the force to change the, the dynamics there and for China to invade its smaller neighbor. But we have to be very careful that we don't want to get involved in something that is a neighbor issue on China's front door, not even in their back door, when we would be trying to fight something from, you know, thousands of miles away and, and in a situation where we don't have a treaty. And I can't stress that enough because, you know, there are so many reports, even just this, earlier this month from the CSIS, uh, which showed that if we fought China really under any circumstances, especially over Taiwan, we would lose at least two aircraft carriers, hundreds of airplanes and thousands of troops, and we may not even succeed. That should sober us up before we'd be too carried away with trying to get ready for a war that we shouldn't even fight. You know, and, and you're mentioning some very important uh, context here, but General Minahan's memo says, I hope I'm wrong. This wasn't like him beating the drum of entering into a war. This sounds like a caution uh, to his troops. I mean, I know that this was uh, leaked uh, from comments, but, you know, how legitimate is this general's gut response to these historic events taking place undeniably in the next couple of years? Well, look, the United States, I mean, that by, by very nature of how we exist, the U.S. Armed Forces should always be prepared to defend our country. We should always be ready for war. I, I was when I was an, an armored uh, officer in, in the U.S. Army. I mean, we constantly were thinking that and you needed to be ready and always foresee the, the unexpected happening so that you would be prepared, wouldn't be caught short. But there's also a second issue that we have to be careful of that we don't have, you know, the, the basic... Uh, self-fulfilling prophecy to where you expect it to happen and then you may start preparing for something. And, and again, we can't get so carried away with, you know, getting ready for something when we need to be seeing how can we avert any kind of conflict between China and Taiwan, not how can we be ready to go fight if it happens? Because this is not, a look, the, the point is, it's not America's fight to go and get ready to defend Taiwan because we don't have a treaty. And militarily, if we can't make a good claim that we could win, even if we did fight, then I think we have to be a lot more cautious and not agree a, a, aggressive about getting ready for something that, again, we just shouldn't fight. I think that can't be lost on that. Well, I have to ask you one simple question. I only have time for one very short answer. Is war with China, whether it's in 2025 or somewhere down the line, inevitable? Nothing is inevitable, but we're going to have to change the course because right now we do seem to be on a path for that, both China and the United States and, and, and Japan for that matter. And something has to change those dynamics or we very well could end up in a war. Lieutenant Davis, thanks as always. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.